while I let all the heat in the oven, I'm going to check the stone quickly. And it's 450 degrees centigrade. Here it is. Let's put it in. Thirty seconds. I think so. I'd like to turn it anyway, just uh, because I just want to check on it. Yeah, it, uh, it's looking nice. Gosh. One more little turn. I feel like I want my crusts to be a bit more, a bit more cooked. But my top, I feel, is already cooked. I just need my crusts a little bit more. This is a 60, I think it's 67% hydration dough and I put sugar in the crust 
So it's different from last, my first cook, which was 60% hydration dough and no sugar or oil. No oil in this, just sugar, 10 grams, different to my recipe before, but it's gone very crunchy. So I'm just experimenting with this oven to see which dough recipe is the best for it. So it might take me some time to manipulate it, adjust it to how I would like it to be. That stone certainly gets as hot as a high heat oven. Now you see that's a very thin part there that's gone a bit more amber in colour. Lovely. And uh, that bit there. And show you the crust there. I had a little bit of a like a an accident on the top there. Must have gone in when I was um, launching it. It must have folded over slightly. It was sticking a bit, but never mind. And there's the other bit. So yeah, this the base is nice, very nice. I really like the base. So let's give this new dough with sugar in a try and. The crust very crunchy and the dough even though I put a little, a little bit of sugar in it has brought the cooking time down from my last my first cook I feel but I'll check my footage and see how long it took and put the result here uh, I'm not sure what I could have done to make it cook faster any tips, please, for anybody who's got an electric pizza oven on how I can get it to cook faster. Probably less bubbles than I had on the other cook. And this is a 24 hour room proof dough. I didn't put it in the fridge. The process was exactly the same as my first cook. I think that I would have liked it to have gone a bit bubblier on the crust. That didn't happen. So it's gone very crunchy again like my first one. Still got some tweaking to do because I want it to get bubblier. And we'll go from there. So I'm going to keep testing this Neapolitan style to see if I can get it to the way I want it to be. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.